you cannot stop talent you can sideline it for a while i think i have there have been times i wouldn't lie to you that i have been very broken i have felt very lost no one cares at damn this is a ruthless heartless industry you are at a point in your career when nothing is going for you and then suddenly you are in the biggest show of the country and you're working with the best filmmaker in the world and he gives you a validation which is bigger than oscars for me you could be the most talented actor in this world and they don't care a damn about that you have to prove yourself main phir kabhi rajneet phir kabhi kar lunga pehle jo industry mein rajneet usse deal kar lunga अरे बड़े कमाल के चलते हैं और बोलने लायक नहीं उसके लिए अलग से नॉवल लिखना पड़ेगा उसमें बहुत सारी लेयर है जैसे हीरा मंडी में जैसे भंसाली साहब के कैरेक्टर्स में होते हैं तो बाप और बेटा तो है ही दोस्त भी हैं और बहुत कुछ है और वी क्रॉस सोर्ड्स आल्सो एंड मतलब ठीक है लुत्फ से भरा हुआ है इट्स वेरी एक्साइटिंग आई थिंक जब आप रिलेशनशिप को किसी दायरे में नहीं बांधते ना तो बहुत खूबसूरत हो जाता है वेन यू इट वेन इट गेट्स रिस्ट्रिक्टेड परेशानियां दिक्कतें वहां से शुरू होती हैं सो आई थिंक वी हैव अ मार्वलिस रिलेशनशिप पर्सनल प्रोफेशनल एंड अदर वाइफ बहुत बढ़िया अध्यान आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे ये तो मैंने डैड से सुन लिया है आप बताओ नहीं आई नहीं आई थिंक जो उन्होंने कहा वो बिल्कुल सही कहा किसी भी रिश्ते को किसी दायरे में नहीं रखना चाहिए पीपल ऑफ्टन आस्क मी कि भाई आपका आपका एक्सपीरियंस कैसा था शेखर जी के साथ काम करके सेट पर आई सेट वो मेरे फादर सेट पे नहीं थे फॉर मी ही वाज़ और मेरे लिए उनके साथ मेरे लिए आई थिंक आई थिंक वाज अमेजिंग एक्सपीरियंस वर्किंग विद हिम अनफॉर्चुनेटली आई वर्क विद हिम ओनली फॉर टू डेज यू नो बट आई होप टू वर्क विद हिम इन द फ्यूचर फॉर अ लॉन्गर टाइम बट जितना भी हमने काम किया नहीं पर पर इस बात इस बात की खुशी बहुत थी आई थिंक अमेजिंग आउटस्टैंडिंग टू हैव करेक्ट करेक्ट बट इस बात की खुशी बहुत थी कि हम दोनों ही एक ही प्रोजेक्ट में जी और और संजय लीला बंसाली के साथ काम कर रहे हैं मतलब एक ही आई टेल यू अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टेल इज माय वाइफ इज उसके आंख के दो ही सितारे हैं मेरे दो अनमोल रतन करण अर्जुन एक शेखर एक अर्जन सुमन यू नो काफिया भी मिल जाता है चलिए तो उनका ये है कि जब भी बाप को खुद मिलता है या शेखर को मिलता है भाई तुम्हें क्यों मिला मेरा बेटा क्या कम है वही शुड है क्यों नहीं मिला जब उसे मिलता है इसे क्यों मिला इनको क्यों नहीं मिला ही इज ऑल्सो सो गुड तो उनको हमेशा ये रहता है कि दोनों को मिले एक साथ क्योंकि मुमकिन नहीं है तो इस बार उनकी इच्छा पूरी हो गई जब इनको धन को भी मिला और मुझे भी मिला एक ही छत के नीचे दो एक्टर जो है वो बंसाली साहब के लिए एक साथ घर से निकलते थे वहीं जाने के लिए तो बड़ी खूबसूरत बात थी नॉट प्लेइंग फादर एंड सर प्लेइंग डिफरेंट कैरेक्टर यू नो तो दे बल्कि एज ऑफ एन क्यू जब मैं बैठा मैं इसको ऐसे ही थोड़ा मॉक जेलसी दिखा रहा था कि भाई तुम्हें मिल गई मतलब ये क्या बात हुई मुझे क्यों नहीं मिला मंजाली साहब के साथ एज दो ऑन क्यू द फोन रैंग एंड इट वाज फ्रॉम हिज प्रोडक्शन हाउस एंड ही सेड दे वांट यू फॉर द रोल और मैं मैं बहुत जोर से चिल्ला रहा था मैं आई सेड व्हाट हैपेंड आई सेड यू आर राइट नाउ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस दैट व्हाई आई आई डिडंट गेट अ रोल इन दैट एंड सी द ऑफर हैज कम फ्रॉम द अदर साइड यू कुड हैव आस्क्ड फॉर एनीथिंग सो ये भी हुआ ये भी संयोग की बात है दिस इज ट्रूथ स्ट्रेंज इन दैट फिक्शन तो ये भी हुआ हमारे साथ तो जब खुशी का रेला आता है तो वो बिल्कुल भगवाते हुए आता है साथ में बहुत कुछ लेके आता है वही मैं अभी अध्ययन को बता रही थी दैट आई डिड मैनेज टू सी टू एपिसोड्स एंड गॉट इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू योर कैरेक्टर्स एज़ वेल सो जुल्फिकर एंड जुरावर फर्स्टली इट्स इंटरेस्टिंग आई डू नॉट वांट टू लेट आउट एनीथिंग बिकॉज़ एवरी वन इज एंटवाइंड बिल्कुल बिल्कुल व्हाट वाज इट लाइक वर्किंग विद संजय लीला भंसाली एंड आल्सो दिस इज अ शो इट्स द वुमेन इट्स अबाउट दीस वुमेन द मेन come and go in their lives because it's yes. such a so what was it Absolutely. like it's enchanting empower empower the self sufficient women i think it was it was a tremendous experience you see when you work with the best you give your best and the best comes out you know when you work i always say he is a maestro he is not just an ordinary filmmaker he is extraordinary he is extraordinary why because he 
has this in-depth knowledge of every department of filmmaking, okay? not just the story, the screenplay, the characters, but the costume, the set, the background, the music, the lyrics. After that, the you know they edit the trailer, the look, everything he decides and to perfection. He is a stickler for perfection, so you can imagine. And I'm a stickler for perfection too. When two people, such people meet together, they're going to be fireworks. They're going to be, it, it's, it's going to be a, a, a memorable experience. So it was wonderful. And of course, as you said, it's a female-centric story and males could look incidental, but they are very significant. Without these nawabs, without these men, these tawais were nothing. So this whole interaction, this whole, even the internecine politics that's going within the kota, within the palace, is because of the nawabs, etc., everything all of that involved so it in a, in a way all characters since it's an ensemble card it's a all characters are very significant in terms of length maybe it will vary but in terms of significance they're all the same so it was wonderful working in a in in, in a in a magnum opus like this and you know this sets were overpowering they were like you know they were mammoths and and you feel important you 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 feel you have arrived uh, you know, as an actor uh, who deserves this. And I'll tell you a small anecdote from Mughal Azam where Kayasir Sahib had given um, shoes to Dilip Sahib that was worth, I think, about 10,000, 20,000 rupees. And Dilip Sahib said, Itne mehenge jute kyo de diye Kayasir Sahib? Asir Sahib, ye to camera zyada tar to yaha rahega, jute dikhaye bhi nahi denge. Unhe ne kaha, par khordar jab tumhe ahsas hoga ki jin jutum jutum mein tum chal rahe ho wo 25000 rupaye ke hain to tumhari chaal apne aap shehzad wali ho jayegi so you know it all it, the, the, the ambience that he creates bansali saab he makes you feel that nabab that you belong to that era that period the costume everything is immaculate and you you don't have to worry about a, a, anything as an actor because everything is taken care of and every little detail. So when you are presented, you are in awe of yourself. How how did I how how did I end up looking like that? Or how did I perform like that? Because you know you're somewhere so immersed in the character that you are playing. It's really beautiful. And uh, Adhyan, your character. I mean, you are pitted against. I would say three very fine uh, women also. Zoravar has an yeah. impact. I'm not saying anything else. Yeah, please. What was it like for you? Also, it's Mr. Bansali's digital debut, but I wouldn't call it a digital thing uh, because it's just so larger than life. It's yeah. just yes, yeah. it is. So, what was yeah. your experience like on set and with these very three very powerful women actors? Actors. I not think. I think. I think. To be honest, I think I'm still in disbelief that I'm a part <laughs> of this project. To be very honest. I think I'm I'm extremely grateful for Mr. Bansari to give me this massive opportunity at a point in my career when not many people were ready to open the doors for me. And for him to handpick me and give me this massive opportunity and not just give me one but two very pivotal characters in the show, I think I can't be more grateful for it. And and he and as he rightly said that the world that he creates, very few craftsmen can create in this uh, in this industry. And uh, I think he's the best film school an actor can ever go to. I think by that I think the best part is that when you decide to do a scene in a particular way, and by the time you end end up reaching on set, he's changed the entire scene, you know. <laughs> and and to be able to match up with that, to cope up with that, to be on set for eighteen hours a day, to wear that costume, the heavy costume, um, I I think that that madness that he has to create cinema, I think that is is uh, something it's once in a lifetime opportunity for me uh, for an actor and I'm not sure if I'd ever get the opportunity to work with him again but uh, the fact that I got to work with him in this massive mammoth show with all these beautiful ladies that you're talking about Richa I keep saying when I on my first day on set when I came back home she sent me a very beautiful voice note at two o'clock in the night and uh, it's, it's a little personal so I won't discuss much but it just said things like you know that I had a different perception of you as a star kid but I'm just so proud of you and just so wonderful to see you you know be so sincere and give it your all and I'm angry at myself for believing other people and what they felt about sure. you and, and you are a completely different artist and a human being and uh, it's just beautiful words you know and 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 Mr. Bansali's validation on the scene that's there in the promo with, with, with Manisha ji where he says ki jute bhi maarta hai, to sone ka maarta hai. that scene changed the entire game narrative life for me with Mr. Bansali you know that's when he got the phone call from Mr. Bansali for 20 minutes he spoke to him about me 
and yeah. all those things that happened to me which i still feel are, are are kind of unbelievable because you're at a point in your career when nothing is going for you and then suddenly you are in the biggest show of the country and you're working with the best filmmaker in the world and he gives you a validation which is bigger than oscars for me you know so things can happen you just got to be at it and keep doing what you're doing you know it's really nice what you said because that imbibes hope we are all living in hopeless times but the fact that you've been so candid so you also spoken he never actually ever benefited as such from your i would say access to the industry never did yes yeah no. i never tried either i never tried pushing him on yeah i never never called up anybody and i said please consider again he's a fantastic actor blah blah he's gone to new york school of film academy he's done raj he's done this i think you know it's very important that you fight your own battle that that is what makes you a warrior you you don't become a warrior by thinking that i have a support system behind me and they will take care of me no you have to take the bullet on your chest and that's how you become a martyr if you do so uh, you know you have to be uh, um, on the full front you have to be like uh, you have to have a preparation of a soldier and you have to keep fighting you have to never say die you have to keep that hope and always say that it will happen one day it will it will it might take time but it will happen there is a god above listening to your voice there is a god above seeing your hard work your diligence your perseverance your patience um so uh you know when when he shuts one door there are a couple of doors waiting for you to open up and uh, what more than the fact that the biggest door has opened for you and as i said it pretty much makes amends for all that did not happen in your life to have gratitude for what you have got and not just pick up broken pieces of yesterday and keep uh, ruining the fact that this didn't happen to me and that didn't happen. don't complain don't uh, you know always be a uh, sniveling on and uh, uh, you know complaining about the fact that you know i deserve more no you will get what you deserve have patience it'll happen to you and no, we are eternally and will be as i as adyan said that we'll be grateful to uh bansali sahab for having reposed so much confidence in him but nobody was ready to look his way to pick up and said i want him and him and no one else and also then be so happy with his to pick up the phone and call me and eulogize and you know i was in a state of euphoria i was actually crying this end because as a father this was the final uh, sort of uh, the ultimate validation that he could get and uh, and that's it his journey begins now so you know uh, maybe that uh, you know he lost a few years there but what he has gained is enormous and i think there is uh, you know a, a a fantastic future waiting for him absolutely and i must tell you the second innings of most of the people are fairly are more thriving than their first have been are we are seeing in the case of bobby dole and the rest you know you are written down but yes. come back with a bang so i mean the, yeah yeah it's just amazing but i know you were i've been i did see his debut film and you did face this whole clique okay. and call and everything but do you now feel a little more confident uh, adhyan and also the fact that uh, as he also openly spoke up do you also now feel it's far more democratic because the narrative has now changed because everyone no, has it has i think i think i have there have been times i wouldn't lie to you that i have been very broken i have felt very lost i have felt defeated uh, uh, early on in my career but the fact i i think that i think the the whole problem i think that we all have been i think i've been trying to fight that and i feel my generation especially fighting is the fact that we live in a certain bubble very uh this illusion about who we actually are and where we belong and where we stand right i uh, very early on in my career realized that hey i'm down you know and down and out for now i need to figure my way out and um, the fact that my father said that he never decided to help me or never make make any phone calls i think was the best decision we could ever take because every because of me coming from a certain privileged background there was so much that was there already in my hand my palm the, you know the the luxury the house and all that i didn't have to worry about that what i had to worry about how do i go out and make people believe i know my i i i know my job uh, especially when the offers are very few and uh, within those few offers the offers weren't right you know because at the end of the day it's the right director and, and the right script that is extremely important and that wasn't coming my my way for the last 10 years of my life so for now you know i i felt there and there were so many people i called so many doors i tried to knock on no one decided to open their doors which is fine which is because look you have to understand that at the end of the day nothing is personal everything is commercial you're a, you're a com- commodity you're a business if you're not saleable you don't have a certain valuation people don't want to work with you no matter how good you are 
and that's what me and my father used to always discuss i used to get fried with you know <laughs> fried i'm saying frustrated with him and and tell him you know i go and meet these people they tell me i'm good or he did really good in raj and jashan but then why aren't they giving me work is because of the fact that i there was there was no there was no value uh, in me there was no saleability uh, uh, as an actor to qualify even if a big director decided to make a 200 crore film i wouldn't have been able to handle that or sell the film rather right and i understood that very early on and then i realized that i have to work on my craft i have to keep moving forward and when the acting offers didn't happen i started directing and i started making music and i started doing well and because of that i got ashram ashram small role in tinka singh did extremely well for me and then my movie career began began again so the fact that i never gave up and i just kept moving forward and and kept uh, you know uh, honing newer skills and working on my art and not giving up and surrounding myself with people who were real and not bullshitting me about who i am and where i stand was the best thing i feel absolutely and ashram has been a turning point for you as well as for bobby dual and you know also i remember when we went to patna and we spoke you were always very candid you know you're one of the few people who first spoke out about the unfair system in the industry which is in any industry but later there were actors like priyanka chopra kartik aryan tapsi now do you think do you see the change and the industry also becoming a little conscious about the way it works yeah i mean i think now the industry is slightly veering towards the real people people who have who know their craft and and that's why no matter how hard they try to put priyanka down uh you know she came out with flying colors because you know you you you, you cannot stop talent you can you know you can sideline it for a while you can push it away for a while but uh, it'll finally come out a winner so i guess that uh, industry is finally taking up uh, notice and cognizance of people who are talented and giving them uh, a place in the sun um, um and i'm i'm so happy about that i know what what adyan was going through and as he rightly said no one cares a damn this is a ruthless heartless industry which is uh, you know treat you like a commodity if you sell you sell if you don't you could be the most talented actor in this world and they don't care a damn about that you have to prove yourself it's like a guy who goes for an interview and he says give me a job i'm competent he says do you have any experience he says no and he says first get an experience and come and he says where do i get the experience if you don't give me the job it's like you know so so the it is the same dilemma with the actor and he says i can deliver he said first prove yourself you are a star he said you don't give me a job how do i become a star so it, you know it's it's that dichotomy that that is at work but eventually as i said all is well that ends well Absolutely. there's always uh, light at the end of the tunnel there is a new beginning always and i think he's extremely extremely lucky that he you know he may have waited so long but now what he has got is equivalent to so many mediocre or bad films that he could have done and yeah. they don't mean a thing at all you know they they're, they're only a couple of milestones in his life and and this would probably he will remember it as a milestone in his life you know absolutely and we see that even in the theaters i'm just so happy that mid budget films led by new virtual newcomers like whether it's a 12th pair whether it's a lapata ladies is what people are watching you are not yeah. watching the big ticket films yes yeah i mean yeah. you yeah. have like 12th pass like that film yeah. it's done extremely yeah. well because people are connected to to the real craft the real actor the real thing the real cinema that's what i mean i mean you can spend hundreds and thousands of crores but if it's not making sense people are going to reject it i'm not going to name the films that have come a cropper uh, lately but uh, you can see it i mean it's it's there absolutely thank you so much both of you yeah. सर हम लोग लास्ट टाइम बिहार नामा किया था कुछ इंटरेस्ट नहीं है आपको पॉलिटिक्स में कुछ राजनीति तो वो मैं फिर कभी राजनीति फिर कभी कर लूंगा मतलब राइट नाउ आई थिंक यू नो पहले जो इंडस्ट्री में राजनीति तो उससे डील कर लूंगा देना पॉलिटिक्स ना इंडस्ट्री पहले उससे फाइट कर ले और अभी जो खुशी हमारे सामने है दिस दिस ह्यूज हैप्पीनेस दिस इन इन यू नो जिसे हम हीरा मंडी के नाम से अभी जाने जानेंगे और आई एम जस्ट होपिंग दैट 
everybody would uh, see it on the first or ye ek achhi baat hai ki you know they would be binge watching and people would watch all the episodes so they can you don't have to wait uh, for adhyan's appearance or shekhar suman's appearance or anyone's appearance aap wo sabko saath de sakte hain and uh, this is a uh, once in a lifetime opportunity for actors as i said and also once in a lifetime opportunity for the audience because i see cheeze kam banti hain it's, it's few and far between so i hope that we are keeping our fingers crossed that you know it's a huge huge success and we all of us get our uh, due share of uh, appreciation jane se pehle ye puchna chahti hu industry ki rajneeti ya desh ki rajneeti sabse complex kaun si hai <laughs> देखिए राजनीति राजनीति होती है कहीं भी कॉम्प्लेक्स होती है बट आई स्टिल फील कि यहाँ की राजनीति जो है वो ज्यादा कॉम्प्लेक्स है इंटरव्यू प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब फॉलो मी ऑन ट्विटर एंड इंस्टाग्राम